Logic Pro 10.7 brings us spatial mixing with Dolby Atmos. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your session to get prepared for a Dolby Atmos mix. So let's get to it. Now you can convert your current sessions or create a brand new session for a Dolby Atmos mix. To do that, go to File, Project Settings, Audio. And next to the Spatial Audio tab over here, select Dolby Atmos. This will convert your session to a Dolby Atmos mix. Next, you'll get up this alert, you'll click OK. Now there are a couple things to mention before we go on from here. Number one, if your session is in a 44 one kilohertz sample rate, just know that when you export your file to a Dolby Atmos WAV file, it will be converted to 48 kilohertz. And number two, you wanna make sure that your IO buffer size is set to something greater than 512 samples. To do that or to check, go to Logic Pro, Preferences, Audio, and make sure your IO buffer size is set to 512 and up because you need that greater buffer size for proper playback. Now there are a couple of terms you need to understand when mixing a spatial mix with Dolby Atmos, and that is bed tracks and object tracks. Now before we get to that, just keep that in the back of your mind. We're gonna talk about the plugin that loads up automatically on our master track, and then we'll get to the bed and object tracks. So your Dolby Atmos plugin will automatically pop up on your master track when we changed our session to a Dolby Atmos mix. Up here on the top, this is your monitoring format. If you have a discrete surround setup, you can select which one suits you best. But in this case, and the beauty of spatial audio mixing in Logic Pro is that you can actually mix on your headphones. So nothing else is required, just Logic Pro and a pair of headphones, and you could properly monitor and mix Dolby Atmos spatial audio mixes in Logic. It's insane. You can be anywhere. You can be on the car, in the car. You can be on a train, on a plane, in your bedroom, mixing Dolby Atmos mixes on your headphone. No additional equipment required. It's truly incredible. This box right here is a visual representation of your object tracks. And let's talk about those two terms now. So you got your surround, your bed tracks, and you got your object tracks. So your bed tracks are all your tracks that are being delivered and sent to discrete speakers in your surround system. So if I open up our surround panel over here, this is what we're used to in a surround mix. This dot represents our sound. We can take this and push it to a discrete speaker, right? Now in Adobe Atmos Mix, we've added a couple more speakers in the ceiling to add height to give us more of a spatial type of sound. So these speakers over here are surround speakers. If we change over to spherical, this becomes a little dome that goes over our head. So the speakers that add height, we can take our sound and push that to any one of those speakers and spread them out to as many speakers as we need, right? So those are all your bed tracks using the surround panner. Now, object tracks can be any mono or stereo track, but you are gonna be using the 3D object panner. Now this allows you to very meticulously pinpoint exactly where you want your sound. So for instance, this dot once again represents our sound. We can take this dot and push it to our back right, decide how far we want it to spread and how much space we want it to take up behind us. So now this track, the sound we placed right back here. And I literally choosing exactly where I want that to be. I can put it right in front of me, in the middle, behind, back. You get the idea. These are object tracks. So if we go back to our master track and pull up our Dolby Atmos plugin, you'll see right here is where a representation of where our object tracks are located. And when you have more, the whole list will be here and you'll be able to see them within your 3D environment. So another thing to keep in mind here, any plugin that you place before this Dolby Atmos plugin will affect your bed tracks. Anything after the Dolby Atmos plugin will affect your object tracks. Just something to keep in the back of your head when you're adding plugins on your master chain because some will affect your bed tracks, some will affect your object tracks. So after object, before bed tracks. So one last thing to note here, no matter what your chain of plugins here on your master track may be, you always want to typically end off with a loudness meter here. And this will allow your session to play back optimally on Dolby Atmos systems. 
So you're gonna to wanna to set your loudest meter to have the whole mix within minus 18 LUFS specification for Dolby Atmos systems. So for that, you'll take this yellow line, put it to minus 18, you'll hit play, hit start. So you'll hit play, hit start, and make sure that your integrated is under minus 18 LUFS so that it can properly play back on Dolby Atmos systems. Other than that, you can go ahead and have fun and add any plugins you want to here. Now I will place in the description box below this video a general guideline of what to play so you can monitor your sounds properly before and after the Dolby Atmos plugin. But for now, just to know, you need your loudness meter to be at least under minus 18th for proper playback. For proper playback. And last but not least, the exporting stage. To export a Dolby Atmos file, go to export and go to export project as ADM BWF file. That is your Dolby Atmos file that contains all of the metadata necessary to play back on Dolby Atmos Swiss systems that will have all of that audio metadata placement within the file. So that's from start to finish how you set up your session and export your session for a spatial mix with Dolby Atmos. If you do have any questions on this, we can go ahead and talk in the comment section below. Dolby Atmos mixing is going to be lots of fun. I encourage you to try it out on your own mixes and your own sessions that you currently have. And um, we'll do more videos on this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.